On this Memorial Day, we at Rebuild the City want to use this day of reflection to challenge the social perception of our liberation and freedom. The essence of true liberation and freedom lies in self-determination, the ability to carve out one's destiny. However, it's important to acknowledge that external forces often influence our freedom. Under the current circumstances, we are not generally free. Our freedom is controlled and determined by others. We are subject to law and a government we did not choose. Our livelihoods and jobs are in the hands of others, and we are forced to abide by their rules and directions. This is not genuine freedom. When we have to seek permission, special protections, and approval from others, and when their decisions restrict us, we cannot claim to be free. True freedom is not merely doing what we want, especially if our wants have been heavily influenced by external forces such as media and advertising. The media in particular plays a significant role in shaping our desire and manipulates our wants and needs by dictating what to buy, where, and consume. This awareness of external manipulation is crucial. So if others determine our wants and needs, we are not generally acting freely. We have been coerced into pursuing material possessions, resources, and certain pleasures that ultimately benefit only them. This begs the question, why is everything we desire owned by somebody else? Therefore, we at Rebuild the contend it's only in Christ that we can truly be free. According to Galatians 5 1, it is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm and do not let yourself be burdened again by a yoke of slavery. Let's rebuild the city because it's only what we do for Christ 